What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. I am going to compare these two machines side by side. This on the left, of course, is the iPad Pro. And on the right side, right here, you have the MacBook Pro with Retina Display. This is the 2013, late 2013 model. Uh, so I'm going to compare these two side by side. Now, uh, I'm running iMovie on both devices here, and I'm going to export this 4K footage as a 4K video output. Uh, and on both devices here. And this uh, MacBook is a 2013, late 2013 Retina MacBook Pro with Retina display, 16 gigs of RAM, 2.3 gigahertz i7 processor. So let's see how these two fare together when I compare them side by side with the same footage, same app. Oops, I need to tap 4K here. So the MacBook got probably a two to three second head start, but that's okay. We'll just keep that in mind at the end of the export. So you can see both machines are doing the export right now, 4K, and they're both just trotting along there. Again, just, just, for, just for emphasis, this is a 2013, late 2013, Retina MacBook Pro 15 inch, 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, In Intel Iris Pro graphics, uh, so it's not a discrete GPU or anything like that, but I mean, still pretty beefy machine. Uh, it's only two years old, the MacBook that is. So we'll just let it run. And I tried my best to to simulate the, the same environment at least as close as possible on both machines. So uh, and there's no apps running on either machine. Um, outside of the you know iMovie, of course. They're both running iMovie, both using the same exact video file, both exporting at 4K. Uh, neither one is plugged into a power adapter. So try to simulate at least as closely as possible the same circumstances for both devices. And the MacBook is almost done. And the uh, iPad Pro isn't far along with, uh, behind it though. All right, so the MacBook has got a few notches left and it will be completed. All right, so that looks like it's about done on the MacBook. And you see the little uh, notification and on the iPad Pro, it is copying into the photo library now and that's done. So remember that the MacBook had a two to three second head start over the iPad Pro. So the iPad Pro, I don't think any there's anyone that will deny that this machine, this machine right here is a beast. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.